So what we're showing here is the is the version of the um, controlled robot, the one we're controlling manually, uh, remote controlling the other robot. And on the screen in the background, you see that we have a pointer and a microscope uh, showing the uh, the controlled robot working on a uh, computer board, and Ten that the one. It's a 10 to 1 ratio, 100 so to one. 100 to 1. So as Kent moves this um, 10 inches, it moves 0.1 inch. Yep. And so you can look at the fine tuning and the small manipulation we need. Um, and that once this is trained to move things around at this level, then you can do it on a human dexter. What's comfortable uh, with a human dexterity? To control remotely things at the very, very small level. Pan back and show Kent's movement. And Barely see the other robot moving, but you can, so we're highlighting it on the screen with a microscope. With a microscope. Awesome. Need some smaller, some smaller stuff. Edge to edge of that little uh, solder piece? Um, that's a good question. Gary, what size are those components on the back of that? Those 602s? Uh, let's see what you Yeah, those are 603s. 603s. So, 3 millimeters. Or 3 millimeters? No. measure it and document it. But just, just to show the fluid nature of the of the the probe on there um, and the movement we can get through manual dex uh, manually moving it uh, through normal human movements. Remotely. Remotely. 